how this mental activity can be performed through the heart. Now you must remember that heart is absolutely connected with brain. Absolutely connected. It's not disconnected thing. If it was, it would not have worked. When heart fails, after some time, brain also fails. The whole body goes out of order. So this mental activity of the heart is to be understood this way, that as soon as you see the danger, without even thinking in a reflex way, your heart starts pumping more blood and you get palpitation. You don't have to think, there's no mental activity. Just you see, supposing a tiger standing before you, immediately the heart will start pumping. It's a reflex action. Now, how this activity takes place, one may say, is that because it is built in within you, that as soon as you see some emergency, your sympathetic nervous system goes into activity. And you start feeling the fear, you start feeling uh, that there should be some protection, that you should do something about it. But you do not think, you just run. You run as fast as possible. Don't think about it, what I should do, where I should run, just you go on running. Away from the danger. And how do you do that? Because it is built in within you, all this in your brain that as soon as the heart starts pumping too much blood, it should just make the legs work and the hands work and you should run. Or we can say it is in the central nervous system built in, the fear. Any reaction, any response like that is built in within you. But the response to the spirituality is not yet manifested. It is manifested, it is all built, no doubt, but it is not yet manifested. And how will it manifest? That's what people ask me, Mother, how will it manifest? Through your past, you have learned that you have to be afraid of this, you have to be afraid of that. Also in this lifetime you have learned many things. For a child may put his hand to the candle, won't feel, be frightened but a grown-up will, because an experience. With the experience, gradually you built in that reaction of reflex within you so that you try to save yourself. Now, what experience you should have to build that in your heart is the point. And the experience is of your own divinity, of your own spirituality. Once you start developing that experience, then you know that you are divine person. Unless and until you are aware fully that you are a divine person, 
how so ever faith you may have in me the recognition is not complete because who is recognizing me is a blind person if a blind person is recognizing me it won't have that response of the heart so first you have to recognize yourself to be a divine person to have faith in yourself 